Hey YouTube, unfortunately I uh, backed my car up into somebody else's and ended up breaking the brake light and you know not too much damage, just a few scratches here and then a few on the bumper so this is stuff I can fix myself. So when it comes to this you can pay a fortune to have somebody replace it or you can just do it yourself. So if you're interested in that I'm going to show you how to do that today. Thanks for checking out Sean's DIY and reviews. On this channel, I do all kinds of uh, DIY around the house type of projects, car related, home, all those type of things. It's kind of like a handy, uh, handy dad that kind of can do that stuff. Um, also do electronic reviews and stuff like that. So if those things are interesting to you, definitely subscribe. And if you learned something in this video, give a thumbs up, please. So we'll go ahead and uh, open up this car. For most of, most vehicles, you're gonna find that when you open up the trunk, Somewhere in here, whether it be on the side here or here, in this case they're right here, you have a bolt that uh, there, and you may have another one further down, there's one right there. And so those two bolts are what are gonna hold this light on, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, loosen these with the correct size wrench. That's one. Okay, so then once I just, once I got those screws loose, all I had to do is just tug on this a little bit and it came right out. And I flip it upside down and I find that I have one, two, three, four different light connectors. So um, obviously this thing's on here. This clip here I would imagine is going to go on to the the new light. There's going to be a clip right over here. Let's see if you can see that right where my uh, thumb is. There should be a little clip. And actually, it looks like this little red piece right here. But uh, and now here's my used, my new used one. I got it from a uh, um, online from eBay. Probably a junkyard item cost me a hundred bucks as opposed to you know uh, I don't even need the lights it actually comes with them which is fantastic um, but uh, you know hundred bucks versus whatever it costs brand new so here's the light itself two bulbs are in the middle all the bulbs are here so I don't even need these bulbs here I could actually remove them if I wanted to um, just from that main harness right there because that's what that's what this is here. So it's gonna be as easy as just taking this main harness, taking these lights out, and just plugging that main harness right into there, and that's it. So basically from here up, these bulbs I don't need as they're already there, so I'll just keep those as spares. So go ahead and um, attach that and attach the new one, but clearly I don't even need that clip because there's one already on there. Okay, so to take this off, you basically have to take this little red piece that's away from the car and bring that toward you if you're standing behind it. So snap that back, pulling that back. Then there's a little clip right here which you would push downward and that will loosen the connection between this side and this side and allow you to pull this right off. Now again, as I said, I'm holding the camera with one hand and I'm pulling the wire with the other so I might have to just put that down for a second. But press this down. Make sure you use two hands, one hand pulling this one out, one hand pulling this, with this little lever pushed down, and that should remove this wiring. Then all I'll have to do is put that wiring right into here, which should be the same thing. This, this little red part is sticking up, and I will just, again, with one hand here to show you how this is being done, And I'll connect it, push it till it clicks. Once that happens, push this little red piece toward the inside of the car part, the connect other connector. Then you're simply going to take your light, lift it up into the spot that it goes, put your two screws back in, and that's all there is to it. It took me all of about 15 minutes to do. Now I'm sure if you brought this to a dealership or um, any auto body shop, they'd charge you, a, you know, I could guess $100 or more just to do this. 
the next thing I need to do is just test out the lighting to make sure that that everything's lighting up. So I will do that before I actually screw these down because that's definitely a good way to go. I turn the directional on, as you can see, that's working. And obviously I'm gonna need a second set of hands to verify that the other light's working. Is in fact on, I have the lights turned on. So you can see that the light, I can see, but we have sun coming from this direction. I can see that the light is actually on there. I'm gonna try sta standing in the way of the light coming in. So as you can see, the br blinker's working fine. Go ahead and step on it again. And you can see the brake light is working as well. So the only thing left to test is my backup light, which I'm confident at the moment's going to work, but I uh, have to get a, somebody else to help me check, put it in reverse real quick. So that's about it. And you just tighten this thing down full, you know, to a snug level and all of about a 15 minute, maybe half hour project. If this was helpful to you, definitely consider subscribing, give a thumbs up, um, and let me know that you subscribe because of this video, because I'm trying to see which videos are more interesting to people and what makes them subscribe. So thanks again, we'll see you in the next video. Go on to the, the new light, this clip right here. So I'm probably gonna have to pop these two guys out through here. These should probably just be twist off. So I'll just go ahead and twist this. And again, I'm just recording with one hand and doing this with another, so it's a little bit limited, but shows you how easy it is to do. Twist this too. It's just about a quarter of a turn. Each of these pop out and you can see there's a little lock with an arrow going that way. So it tells you which way they go. Here, this one's probably just gonna be a twist as well. This one's gonna be a little clip, it looks like. So push this clip and tug that out. Actually, that's just the wire. Pop this whole piece right out here. I'm just gonna push it through from this end and pull this through. So the bottom piece here just actually slides right off. And that's what I ended up doing. This was actually attached on here. And I just had to tug on this and pull this part off of here. That's the bottom one of the, of the four.